morning. Happy Thursday morning sa atin. Today, we are studying in the book of Hosea chapter 14. And it is also the very last chapter of this wonderful book. And as I read in chapter 14, in the last chapter, I can really sense how beautiful it is to be loved by God. Amen. Hindi po natin in-expect how this chapter has ended. After the 13 chapters na makikita po natin how gruesome or gaano po kalala yung kalagayan ng Israel on how they really sinned against God, their wickedness, their unrighteousness. At kasama po dito is the judgment po ng Painon. In the chapter 13, in, in 13 chapters, makikita po natin yung wrath, yung anger ng Painon and how he was really determined to punish and to judge Israel. And they will have a lot of suffering. Amen? Marami po silang kakaharapin na mga consequence ng kanilang kasalanan. And we can never imagine even ourselves in even our time today, how can we truly face such a judgment sa Panginoon. But in chapter 14, as this chapter ends, we can truly say that our God is a compassionate God. Amen? Na anuman po ang ating nagawa, anuman po ang kalagayan ng mga Israel noong mapanahon na yon, it didn't change who God is. His very nature. And His nature is loving, is gracious. Amen? Subalit, paulit-ulit, kahit po sa ating mga kalaman, and even until today, we have been preaching on how gracious God is. But we cannot turn away from their foolishness. Amen? Maraming beses pa rin po na bakit hanggang ngayon, we are studying the book of Hosea. Because I believe God knows and understands the weakness of men, the foolishness of men, na kahit po maraming beses na atin pong pag-aaralan at, itu- at may tuturo sa atin kung gaano po tayo kamahal ng painon and how we must really cling on God. We can never stop ourselves from turning away from the perfect will ng painon and turning away from God. Kaya naman po, in chapter 14, I entitled this chapter, Be Wise to Return to the Father. Be Wise to Return to the Father. The means we have to return. Turn to God. Turn to our Father. Amen? And this is wisdom that comes from God. It is the wisdom that comes from the book of Hosea. And it's also the message of God for the Israelites ng mga panahon na yan. After God enumerated all their mistakes, all their sins, all their wickedness, God concluded this chapter and Hosea concluded this chapter with these words. And verse 1 to 3 is the first paragraph, 4 to 8 is the second paragraph, and verse 9 will be our conclusion. Verse 1, it says, Return Israel to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously that we may offer the fruit of our lips. So he, who is talking in these verses? In the first three verses, the prophet Hosea is the one speaking to the people of Israel. And he is pleading for Israel to return to the Lord their God. Because Hosea could see in the vision how much they will suffer in the future, and how wicked the generation was no mga panoon na yun. And Hosea is seeing in the vision how the people will be brought down, will be brought low by God because of their pride, because of their wickedness. Kaya naman po si Hosea, he was pleading, he was calling the attention of all Israel that we are, be, are going in a downhill. We are falling down because of our sins. Kaya naman po sabi niya, take words with you and return to the Lord. Ano po itong take words na ito? First point that I want to share, how can we be wise to return to the Father? Is return. We must first return to God, our Father. But we say return, it means people must repent. Amen? 
People must repent and they need to take words with them. And what are these words? These are proper words of repentance. To come before God, not just to offer offerings, just like what they do to their idols, but they need to come in acknowledgement of their sins so they can offer the fruit of their lips. Amen? Kailangan po nilang bumalik, magbalik loob sa Panginoon. Subalit sa kanilang pagbabalik loob. Kailangan pong magkaroon ng interaction. Kailangan nandun po yung kanilang pag-acknowledge ng kanilang kasalanan. Forgive all our sins and receive us graciously. They need to repent and confess of their sins so that we can offer the fruit of lips so that they can again worship the Lord of God. Because without their repentance and confession, our worship is nothing sa Panginoon. It can never reach the heavens. In our lives, napaka-importante po sa Panginoon ang confession and repentance. That's why every time we do something, we first come in confession and repentance. Because this will once again connect. This will once again return us, connect us with the Father, so napaka-importante po na bumagbalik loob for us to acknowledge our sins. And it's something that the Israelites are not easy. They find it hard to acknowledge their sins because they think they are worshiping God. Because they think they are doing the right thing. Because they think that it is just but normal for them to ally with the Syrians, ally with these people. Because they need to preserve themselves, need to preserve the nation of God. Marahil meron po silang ganung good intention. Oh, this must be the will of God. Because He doesn't want us, He loves us, He doesn't want us to be destroyed. So they ha we have to ally with the nations. And I believe it's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. Do we understand and we feel this, these things and conversation? Minsan ganun po tayo. Diba? Sometimes it is easy for us to compromise our principles and our faith. Ah, malay mo, taya tayo ng loto kasi, alam mo, baka blessing in disguise. Ito yung gagawitin ni Lord para pagpalain ang church. We have those thoughts. I have to mingle with the world. I have to befriend the world. Dapat mag, mag I, I need to belong to the world. Dapat maging katulad ko sila. So that, you know, I can, I can win them, I can evangelize them. Good intentions. But the manner that we do things for the will of God is still wrong. Sabi ng Panginoon, it is not good for man to be alone. So I can choose anyone and anybody I want. Kahit na unbeliever. It doesn't matter. And sometimes we are like that. So, madalas po sa ating buhay, it is not easy for us to acknowledge our sin. It is not easy. And that's why Israel, God, Hosea says, you need to come, take words with you to acknowledge your sin so that once again, we will be restored in true worship so that they will sabi po dito Assyria cannot save us we will not mount war horses we will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made for in you the fatherless find compassion this is the words actually Hosea was putting the words to the mouth of the Israelites because they do not know how to confess they do not know how to interact with their God. And so Hosea said it word by word. This is what you need to say. Say, we cannot, we, we, Assyria cannot save us. We need to come before God and declare Assyria cannot save us and that He is our Father. Only He can work in our lives, can intervene sa ating mga buhay. We will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made. And that we need to acknowledge that we are fatherless without God. We are fatherless. And we need the compassion of the Lord in our lives. We need to understand who we are without God. 
We are fatherless. Alam niyo po ba ang fatherless? A fatherless person is full of fear, full of insecurity, very low self-esteem. They will never find rest. There is always a void in their hearts. And this is Israel without God. But they cannot see it. They don't see it. They were trying. They were trying to feel that void in their hearts when they rebel against God. They left the Lord and rejected God sa kanilang buhay. That's why they were so busy trying to fill that void to be secured to their alliance and nations, to serving a lot of gods in their lives. Why? Because they turned away from their father. And God is their father who cared for them from the very beginning, who lavished them with love, embraced them, accepted them. No one has accepted Israel and loved Israel like God did. Ano pong sabi ng Painon? I did not choose you because you are numerous. I did not choose you because you are a strong nation. But I choose you because you are few. And yet, in your weakness, and yet, kahit po kukunti kayo, my love for you is full. Kahit kayo ay makasalanan, you came from a place of idolatry because Abraham is a Chaldean. He came from the land of Babylon, from an idol-worshipping family. So, balit pinili po ng Painon, he set Abraham apart took him out and made him as his own, blessed him and made him to this great nation. This is who God is in their lives, a compassionate God. But the people of Israel do not know. As they turn away from God, they are nothing. And the more that they need to understand that they are fatherless, they need to to really acknowledge the more that they need to understand their need of God. Kailang kailangan po nila ang Panginoon. Because they cannot be secured on their own sa kanilang buhay. This is what Hosea is saying. We are orphans before God. But as an orphan, an orphan must learn to rely on the Father. An orphan must learn to desire of his Father. Amen. Desire on his Father. Two things na response po ng mga orphan. Now, when we say orphan, it's not just those people who doesn't have a father. Because many people has fathers, but they feel fatherless. But when we feel we are often or fatherless, the more we need to cling to our Father. Amen? But others will stray away and they will reject their Father. But unless they truly understand the blessing of a Father, they cannot experience love. They cannot experience the true meaning of love. Alam niyo po sa akin, my, sa aming pamilya, our Father is imperfect. At alam niyo po ang story po namin on how my father turned away from the perfect will ng Painoon on how we have been hurt by our father in the past. Even on times that we already grew up, we graduated from the universities, we have our own work, we, I am serving in the ministry. Akala ko po enough na yon. We don't care what our father does, we don't care if we have a broken relationship sa aming tatay. And we can do our own, we do our own thing. Pero alam niyo po, pinakita po ng Painoon sa amin that unless our relationship with our Father is reconciled, we can never truly express ourselves freely in love. We can never be full. Our hearts, our hearts cannot be completed. Kasi po, nandun pa rin yung hurts namin sa tatay namin. Every time we do something, no matter how much we achieve in life, Pero whenever we interact with men, nagkakaroon pa rin po kami ng mga twisted, mga corrupted minds on our interaction sa mga tao. We lack po yung trust sa aming buhay. We, we are always careful in many things because we don't want to be hurt again. Whenever we enter in a relationship, yung relationship po namin is in chaos because our relationship with our father is also in chaos. But it's only when 
we rest, we are being restored and we we are being reconciled with our father doon lang po namin na experience yung talagang breakthrough sa aming family you know nung kami po ay masasak, masakit pa ang loob sa aming mga tatay sa aming tatay you know my 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 family is truly in chaos some of us are are in enslaved by gambling some of us is in uh, in uh ang tawag dito we are involved in in homosexuality in adultery in premarital sex we we have a very chaotic life without other restoration of our father restoration of our relationship sa aming tatay but when the restoration came and reconciliation alam niyo po nag breakthrough ang buong pamilya and we begin to rely again to our father when we are broken we are hurt we are tired we come sa aming tatay and nandoon na naglalambing kami we we can ask anything and we can feel yung peace we can feel that there is a father who covers us and it's the same thing a god a god the father wants us to understand we need to return to the father because when we return verse 4 to verse 8 says i will heal their waywardness and love them freely for my anger has turned away from them i will be like the jew to israel and he will blossom like a lily and all these verses at the verse 8 is such a loving words from god from the father when we return to god our father God answers in love and restoration. That is our second point. God answers in love and restoration. This is God's gracious response to the people. God is giving them an obvious reply. If only you return, this is who this is how I will respond. And sabi po ng Panginoon, I will heal their waywardness. I will heal their backsliding heart and love them freely. Bakit po kayo nasabi ng Panginoon ito, love them freely? Because He cannot freely love us. Dahil ang kailangan pong pagmamahal niya sa mga Israel noong mga panahon na yun, He need to love them with an iron hand. He need, yung, yung pagmamahal niya, He cannot fully bless them. Bakit? Yung pagpapala po na binibigay ng Panginoon, they use it in their wicked ways. They use it in their idolatry. That's why yung, yung, yung blessing po sana na 100%, Ang Painon, He cannot give it fully for them because these people, they are turning the blessings into curses in their lives. So that's why God cannot love them freely. Amen? That means without restriction, without second thoughts. Imagine yung pag may mga anak pa kayo and one is very responsible in his finance. He knows how to invest. He knows how to use it in the proper way. And then you have another son. Itong yung batang ito ay eh, waldas. Hindi po niya ma-treasure o ma-appreciate yung mga binibigay sa kanya. How can you love them both? You cannot love them the same freely. Yung pagmamahal mo sa isa, it is easy for you to give to this child because he can manage. Alam mo na hindi po siya mawawala sa landas when he use this money. But for the child na waldas at medyo irresponsible, Kailangan mo pong, alam mo yun, ayusin kung paano ka magbigay sa kanya. You cannot give everything. Amen? Kasi kailangan mo din siyang bantayan. Or else, he will just, alam mo yun, do whatever he wants. And that, that is how God is looking at Israel no mga panahon na yun. He needs to withhold some of the blessings. The God has already blessed them, but He cannot fully and freely bless them dahil nga po sa mga twisted mind and principles ng mga Israel. The more they are being blessed, the more they go away from the very presence of God. And so how God will love them freely. But when they will return, and they will return their hearts and depend to God once again. Sabi po dito, He will restore everything. Sabi dito, He will heal them. 
His anger has turned away from them. He will restore his relationship. I will be like the Jew to Israel and he will blossom like lily. He will, he will restore yung growth, yung beauty ng Israel. He will establish them once again. And he will, uh, you, his young shoots, verse 6, will grow. That means they will produce once again. They will grow even in numbers. And even the next generation will be blessed. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will dwell again in shades and they will flourish like the grain. People will once again be blessed through Israel. Dahil po bumalik po sila sa kanilang tatay. Bumalik po sila sa, sa Panginoon po nila. And what does God says here? Ephraim, what more have I to do with idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a flourishing juniper. Your fruitfulness comes from me. And God says, everything that you desire. You desire peace. You desire security. That's why you go to Assyria. You are wrong. It all comes from me. You desire strength and power. That's why you come to Egypt. Para po sa mga chariots and their horses. But God says deliverance comes from me. Power comes from me. You come to your idols. For the sake of blessing and protection. But all these things comes from me. Sabi ng Painon. Only when you return, you will understand that everything comes from me. I am the one who's gonna restore. He is the one who's gonna give you peace. This is the word of God to the Israelites. I am your father. I am your father. And this is many things that we, many Christians, do not understand. We are so busy with many things and cares of this life. And we rely on the world. We rely on ourselves. But why don't you just try relying on God the Father? You just try. And you'll come to see that these very words in chapter 14 is real and is true. And I believe God will accomplish it. We have been relying on the world, relying on many things sa ating buhay. But today, God is saying in chapter 14, only when we come and return to Him, rely on Him, we can offer fruit of our lips. That means we can again Trust in Him. Depend on Him. Worship Him. It's not easy for men to worship God today because it's not easy for us to surrender yung mga bagay po sa ating buhay. Our marriages, our lives, our career, we want to always be in control. But here in verse 9, verse 4 to 8, God answers in love and restoration if we return to Him. And when we do this, we are called wise. Verse 9 encourages us. Hosea is saying to the people, Who is wise? Let them realize these things. Who is discerning? Let them understand. The ways of the Lord are right, and the righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. When we be wise and return to the Father. We will come to experience chapter 4, verse 4 to verse 8. This is what awaits us. And this is being wise. Alam na po natin na ang pagpapala, ang kagalingan, ang kapayapaan, ito lahat ay nanggagaling sa painon. But why men still choose the world? Because men are foolish. We try to be gods of our own. Pero sabi po ni Hosea dito, be wise. This time in our lives, let us be wise and realize these things. Because the people, they focus and they set their eyes on the many things that they want. Pero nakalimutan po nila, if they seek first God, if they only seek God's kingdom first, the heart of God, all the things will be added unto them. Only if they return. And so they need to be wise. To choose.
to return to God. And to return to God is first, they need to repent and interact with God. And second, they need to follow the ways of the Lord. For the ways of the Lord are right. Amen? It means even His judgment and His grace in the midst of His judgment is right. He is a God who is a compassionate God and a healer. He is a God that forgives. That no matter how much sin do we have, no matter how we have we walked in our sinful life, as only we return, if only we return, God will accept us once again. God will receive us once again sa, sa Kanya. And part of this is walking in the right path in our lives. Walking in the ways of God. And that's walking in the righteousness ng Panginoon. Turn away from our idols. Turn away from our self being an idol in our lives. We need to follow God. Return to God. We need to return to God, our Father. He is the God who loves us. He is the God who is compassionate. He is the God that understands our weakness. And we need to say it. Speak it out. And we pray that God will really lead us. God will help us to see and understand these things. If we learn to return to God, we will not go downhill. Because, you know, we are turning away from God. We are going down. But when we turn to God, it is always going up. We always ascend. We need to ascend in faith. And so brothers and sisters today know that God loves us so much. Until today, he is crying out in the book of Hosea for us to return. For us to rely and cling to him. Whatever is our situation and position in life, God sees us and God loves us. Today, may the Holy Spirit help us to respond to this word. Hallelujah. Let us all pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, how we love you and worship you, Father. For you are a compassionate God. Your love never ceases. Your love is deep. Your love is real and is here to stay. Father, we thank you that in all these years of our life, your love for men never wavers. Until today, just as how you continue to give hope and love Israel, it's the same thing that you show us today, despite the many waywardness, despite the many lukewarmness and wicked ways that we have been walking through in our lives. You will never discourage. We have provoked you to anger. We have turned away from you, rejected you in our lives, and choose the world. Many times, Panginoon, sa aming buhay, that we have brought you sadness, that we have mocked you because of our wrongdoing, because of our own self-will. Many times, O oh Lord, that we did not treasure your sacrifice and the cross of Calvary, but we, we offer you, we, we crucify you more and more because of our sin. Father, forgive us. Today, as we come in the presence of God, God is here and God is looking to us, not in judgment, but in love. God is waiting. He is a Father that awaits us. He is always waiting for His lost sons and daughters. He is a God who never keeps grudges, never hates. He is a God that will always be forgiving. We need to believe and return to the Father. God, help us, help us. Today, if in our lives, 
we may feel we have an unbelief. We have a backsliding heart in our lives that somehow po sa ating buhay, ilang beses din tayong tumalikod sa Panginoon. And we find it hard to return and to come once again in His presence. Marahil ang iba po sa atin, we had grudges against our Father. We have the chaos in our relationship and it's not easy for us to return our hearts to our family, to those who have hurt us. Today is the time we believe in the love of God. We believe in the grace of God. We believe in this power of restoration. Only if we come also in repentance. Not that we first wait for these people to repent and say sorry to us. But it is us first. We need to take words with us and return our hearts to God and turn our hearts to these people. And Lord God, today, you know our lives. You know, Father, how we live our lives. We need your mercy. We need your grace to be able to have that interaction, to be able to understand your love and your desire for us. For your desire is on us, O oh Father. It's a godly desire that you have to die and sacrifice your life for us to gain our love. We are your bride. Lord God, today we acknowledge this. It is because of your love that we are here. It is because of your love that we continue to have hope and experience breakthroughs aming buhay maging sa aming mga relationship. Father, today may you help us to be restored to you. To see our way back to you, God. That, that can, Lord, I pray that you direct us in the right path. That we may return to your perfect will sa aming buhay. Lord, forgive us on the times that we have turned our back unto you. Forgive us on the times that we don't choose you. And we just allow our pride to take over a self-centeredness to take over Panginoon sa aming buhay and that God you have spoken many times sa aming buhay but we have hardened our hearts many times we are like the Israelites you have spoken and reminded us you used men to speak in our lives but we were never discerning we were never open oh God we did not open our hearts to your truth and to your words Father, today, forgive us for our callousness in our hearts. Forgive us, Panginoon, sa lahat ng aming mga pagkakasala at pagkukulang. At hayaan mo na muli, ikaw ay, ang, ikaw ay aming marinig. Ikaw, Panginoon, ay aming masundan. At kami po ay tumahak sa iyong tamang langtas. Oh Lord God, have mercy on us. For God, we don't want to be destroyed because of our own will. We won't we don't want to be destroyed, oh God, because of the things that we choose in our lives. But Lord God, today we acknowledge that you are our God. You are our Father who helps us, who carries us, who protects us, who never leaves nor forsake us. Lord God, forgive us of our rebellion. That God, we pray that may we return as we return to you, Lord, today. May you cleanse us. Heal us, O oh Lord. Let us know your ways so that once again we can come in repentance and be restored and we can worship you once again, Painoon, sa aming buhay. Painoon, dalangin ko po sa oras na ito. Give us wisdom. The wisdom to choose what is right. Give us a discerning heart that in whatever we do, God, we will always consider your ways. We will always return to your truth and not choose ourselves. Because God, your ways are right. Your ways, Lord God, is a path of blessing. But God, for the rebellious, it is a stumbling block. Because they never want to walk in it, Father. Painon patawarin mo po. And sa oras na ito, ibigay mo po sa amin ang buhay, Painon na may pagsunod sa iyo. A life, O oh Lord, that is willing 
na lumakad, Painon, sa katuwiran. Matuwid, Panginoon, sa iyong mana. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. And we just pray today that as we end this chapter, baon-baon po namin ang bawat mga salita mo, pagpapaalala na kung Painoon na hindi na po namin tutularan ang mga bagay na nasabi ni Hosea tungkol sa mga Israelita. But God, today, we can be a true sons and daughters relying and dependent sa iyo, Panginoon. Because you are a father who loves us. You are a father who never fails. You are a father who never fails to forgive us. And so, Lord God, I pray today for anyone who is lost, for anyone who is watching this bread and breakfast, I pray that may your comfort come upon them. Give them hope. Give them life. And that may they find life and their way back to you, Lord. That their relationship will be restored. They will become one true man and a new man in you, Father. Lord, we thank you so much. We also pray that may you use us, O God, so that these words will be proclaimed to others. May your gospel be proclaimed. May these words of love, Panginoon, ay ma-proclaim din po namin sa ibang tao. That more people will return to you through us. Give us the heart of evangelism. Give us the heart, a compassionate heart just like yours. That our relationship will also be restored. And that God, as we relate with this world, we can display and we can pass on these words, Panginoon, ng iyong pagmamahal. Lord, we thank you. And I pray that more men will come to know you. More men will come to seek you. And they will return to the Father. Return to the one true God. Use us, your church, Lord. Use us. Father, I thank you. I bless everyone. And may we continue to receive this anointing of love and healing and evangelism. Lord, especially in our time today. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang may taas. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang may hiyag sa aming buhay. And this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless po. And see you tonight in our inner room. And together we pray. Hallelujah. And, and I hope itong message ng Panginoon is a message of love. It will not just end in us but we shall proclaim it sa mga tao po sa paligid natin. Amen. Let us rise up to be an evangelist of our time. God bless po. Thank you.